What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So this video is gonna be about the highest paying college degrees, and by that I mean four year degrees only. So we're not gonna include any master's degrees, doctoral degrees, professional degrees, anything that takes more than four years is gonna be off the list. Not today, Satan. But Shane, money doesn't matter and you should always follow your passion. Okay, so obviously pay isn't everything, I know this. There's a lot of things that you wanna consider, job satisfaction, passion, quality of life, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're just going to be going over the degrees that pay the big money so that you can secure the bag. I'm rich, bitch. And if you understand this video, once you secure the bag, whatever the heck that means, you'll have the freedom to smash the like button on this video all day long because you can do whatever you want and you're just awesome like that. So before I start this video, I did a ton of research on this and it's really difficult to determine which ones actually pay the most because almost all of the studies rely on self-reporting data, which isn't always accurate. But with that being said, I got all of my information from three different sources. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, a survey by payscale.com, and an analysis by glassdoor.com. Now most of this data is going to be based off of your first five years after graduating, but I also took into account the overall median pay of everybody that graduated with a degree as well. Okay, so we're going to skip all the way to number one on the list, which is skipping college altogether and being Mr. Beast's friend. What are you going to buy with all this money? I don't know. Seriously, Mr. Beast, if you ever see this, can we please be friends? Inaccurate. Just kidding, number 10 on the list is gonna come in being a finance degree, and that's gonna be around $85,000 to $88,000 a year. Now I notice that some people say finance and others say finance, so don't get mad at me if I pronounce it differently than you. In fact, you know what, let's see what Google says. What's the, what's the correct way to pronounce this? Finance. Now, there are many different career paths that you can go down with a finance degree. Two really common ones are going to be a financial analyst or a personal financial advisor. So financial analysts are gonna provide guidance to people who are making investment decisions, so this could include businesses as well as individual investors. Personal financial advisors, on the other hand, are more boots on the ground and they're gonna be interacting with normal people that are just trying to save for retirement. Now, there's lots of job openings for both of these careers and they're both growing a lot faster than average. And a good friend of mine from high school ended up becoming a financial analyst and moving to New York and he's doing really well compared to pretty much anybody else in my high school. So I've seen firsthand how good a finance degree can be. Number nine on the list is going to be a physics degree and you can become a physicist with this degree but there are a lot of other options as well. Now overall people who graduate with a physics degree are making around $97,300 a year. If you do decide to go for a higher level degree you can make a lot more than this. And physics graduates are paid really well and they're highly sought after because this is probably the most difficult degree that you can get in undergrad. So companies know that when they're hiring someone with a physics degree, they're getting a very smart, hardworking individual that's gonna solve problems for them. Now the big problem with this one is that if you only get a bachelor's degree, you're probably not gonna find that many opportunities to work as a physicist. So if that's the path that you're trying to go down, you're gonna need to get a master's or a doctoral level degree. But like I said, there's still a ton of other options and physics majors get paid very well after getting out of school. And this is one of those degrees where you wanna have a very clear idea of what careers interest you because there's not a clear path of which job you're gonna get after you graduate. You know, if you get an engineering degree, you're gonna become an engineer. If you get a physics degree, there's a lot of other things you could potentially become. And getting a physics degree and expecting to become the next Elon Musk would be kind of like getting a theater degree and expecting to become the next Robert Downey Jr. Number eight on the list is gonna be mechanical engineering, and that one's gonna come in at about $87,000 a year. And they basically help to design, develop, and build mechanical devices. Now, this one probably isn't gonna surprise anyone, but mechanical engineering is a really solid option on this list, and it's going to be the first of many different engineering degrees. They also have a lot of job openings in this career, and it's a very flexible degree where you can do a lot of different things with it, so overall this is a very solid choice. Number seven on the list is gonna be industrial engineering, and that one's also gonna come in at about $87,000 a year. And they help to create efficient systems within a business that integrates the workers, as well as the information and the systems. All of that comes together to make a better product. And this one's a really valuable skill to have because it sort of combines engineering with entrepreneurship. And I see this one being even more valuable with automation as well as artificial intelligence coming down the line. This is also one of the fastest growing engineering careers at about 8% growth, which is really good for them. And this one barely edges out mechanical engineering on the rankings. Overall, this one
one is an amazing option, lots of jobs, lots of future opportunity as well. And I know there's a lot of engineering degrees on this list, but that's no mistake. Now, I know I've poked a lot of fun at Starbucks baristas in the past, but think about it. Have you ever seen a Starbucks barista that has an engineering degree? So I cheated a little bit just because there's so many of these. I'm grouping electrical engineering with computer engineering at number six on the list. So I grouped these two together because computer engineering is technically a subset of electrical engineering. Now, of course, computer engineering focuses more on designing and creating computer systems. And electrical has a great salary to about $99,000 a year, but computer engineering has an even better salary. And I think these are both fantastic options. Electrical engineering is a little bit more flexible. You can get a lot of different types of jobs with that one, whereas computer engineering pays a lot more. And it's also a really good option because it's so easy to transition into maybe the best industry in the world, which is the tech industry. Number five on the list is going to be chemical engineering, and it comes in at about $105,000 a year. Now, chemical engineers apply the principles of biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics to make all kinds of different things from food to fuel. Now, this one isn't as flexible as a lot of the other ones on the list, and it doesn't have as many job openings, so you'll likely have to move to wherever the opportunity is. But overall, this is still a very solid choice. Now, number four on the list is probably going to be a little bit of a surprise, and that is an economics degree. And I was surprised at how high this was on the list, but it's a very solid option. Now, if you want to purely become an economist, you're probably going to have to get at least a master's degree, but there's a lot of other options out there for people who just opt for a four-year bachelor's. This one also has some of the best statistics when it comes to starting your own business and becoming an entrepreneur. Overall, this is a very solid option for you, especially if you don't want to go down the engineering route and it's really hard to calculate exactly how much they make because many of them end up getting their master's or their doctorate and there's no way to differentiate with the data but broadly speaking this one pays very well number three on the list is going to be computer science and this one comes in at about hundred and nine thousand dollars a year now this one was extremely difficult to rank you could make a good argument that it's number one on the list but there's just so many different options for you if you get a computer science degree you can be a front-end engineer, you can be a back-end engineer, you can be a computer network architect. You can get a chill remote job where you're working on your code from anywhere in the world. A guy I know who's a computer network architect only works about 10 to 20 hours a week and he makes over 300,000 a year. Or you can go all out, move to Silicon Valley and go for jobs that pay over 500,000 a year. This one is also really great if you wanna start a business in the tech industry. There's honestly so many options out there that it's really difficult to rank this one. You could easily rank it number one and at the end of the day it sort of does come down to your opinion but overall this one is extremely solid. The next two on the list don't have anywhere near as many job openings as computer science does and they're both pretty niche options but they're niche options that pay extremely well. So the first one number two is going to be aerospace engineering and that comes in at about $115,000 a year and I think you can sort of guess what they do. They design all sorts of different objects that fly through the air from satellites to drones to helicopters, spacecraft, etc. Now this one pays extremely well, but there aren't that many job openings and it's not as flexible as some of the other engineering degrees as well. So because of that, you'll likely have to move to a place where there's more opportunities for aerospace engineers. One of my roommates in college is an aerospace engineer and I have to say to this day, he might be the smartest person I've ever met in my life. I still remember in my head this guy playing Skyrim during finals week for like 10 hours a day while everybody else was pulling all-nighters just to barely passed their tests and he finished as the number one student in his class it, it was ridiculous so if you're going into this one your competition is going to be really tough you're going to be going against people who are pretty much geniuses so you're going to have to work really hard unless you're a genius like my roommate was overall this is a great option for the right person and it pays ridiculously well but not quite as well as number one on the list which is petroleum engineering at hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars a year what the heck how is that even possible and you can probably guess what they do. They design methods of extracting oil and gas from deposits that are below the Earth's surface. Now this is another one where the pay is amazing but there's not that much demand and chances are you're going to have to either move to a town in the middle of nowhere or you might even have to move out onto an oil rig in the middle of the ocean. Now on top of that it's not as flexible as a lot of the other engineering degrees so if you don't want to work in the natural gas field you're going to have a little bit more trouble transitioning into something else. Overall it's insane that they can make almost $140,000 a year with just a four-year degree and I want to just note here that the comparisons aren't perfect because 
someone might go for an engineering degree for four years and then they end up becoming a computer programmer and there's just no way to differentiate all of that sort of thing in the data. But make sure to watch my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, comment down below any ideas you have on this video or any other videos that I should make. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.